Hi guys, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. We've got another great episode for you today with an update on the Challenger rebuild. Unfortunately, the introductory shot that we had taken didn't take, so I lost it. But that's okay. The day didn't go as planned. We had a glass man scheduled to remove the glass. They couldn't work on it because it was on jack stands. So my dad and I, we were gonna do a welding on all of the pinholes that secured the vinyl top, and instead we went ahead and removed the interior and the glass. And got started on the pinhole welding. We got three of them done. They turned out okay. So I cut the shot in. We also show, I'll show you a little shot, just a couple of pictures that we have of the progress that was made on the lean-to outside. And Dad's picked out the color center red for the car, probably. And I'll cut a shot in later in the episode where we've got a hubcap painted and I'm holding it up so you can see what color we're thinking about. Uh, all in all, it's a great day, getting a lot of work done on the car and just catching up. So we'll get right to the action. First thing off is this trunk. Trunk lid. You got yours loose? Yeah. And uh, when we get it off, I'll bring it my way since it's not. You want to pick up when you're taking something like a trunk or a hood off of the car so that it doesn't fall. You got it? Alright. Be careful. That opens up a lot more room. You can see the original luggage rack that Father is disinclined to reuse. <laughs> Do we want a WD-40? Hey, I want to no. get, get a thumb, a, a different wrench. I'm trying to get a shot of what we're taking loose. So what we're taking off right now, and now that we've got the trunk out of the way, and a color picked, these studs that were Part of the old, that's what hold the original vinyl down, huh? This is original vinyl, Dad? Uh, yes, yeah. yeah. So that's, those studs held so the original vinyl so, top. So it's, so it's trim for the vinyl, but we're, yeah, we're not gonna want them. And when you get up in here, there's little nuts. Well, they're hard to get a camera shot of. Get on. Right here. There it is, huh? Got one of them. You got it. Let's oh, see they're it. little. They're they're the little cheap, uh, sheet metal kind. Yeah. Okay, that's why they're hard to get off. Yeah. So we'll get all those off and get all those holes opened up, so we can fill them the right way. We got this triangle shaped razor death wire, Mad Max style here. How much? How much extra do you think we need? Oh, I want about a foot and a half or so. It's going to want to naturally go where we need it. So, is it sticking up here or is that a little bit? It'll cut, it'll cut through there. I feel like I need something to hold. Damn. Are you pulling it in yet? Yeah, a little bit. Not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to cut yet. Okay. You pull your way. Oh. That was easy. Yeah, let it come back my way. Okay. Oh, too much. I don't even know where it's at. It seems to be staying in better. Why don't we do this? Let's hold off with this. Let's go back to this one. Just a second. Okay. Oh, I thought I was making a lot of headway. Maybe I did. Pull, pull back, I guess. Okay, so we're back at trying to get this windshield out. Oh, I'm gonna get the rest of the interior trim out. Here's the last screw. Here's another one. Here's the last screw. Oh, okay, I got you. It's kind of dark in here. We got the first piece of trim out. I think this piece has just got glue holding it. Don't you, Dad? Maybe so. That piece comes out. That one would. Oh, damn it. It's down in there, yeah. Careful, I'm on the other end of it. Are we out of the way 
there? Yeah. Pull down, yeah. Yeah. Oh man. We're past the trim that's stuck now, so. Huh? So we're past the trim that's stuck now, so that kind of. Yeah, take that out of the picture. Yeah, it's but it's got the rubber folded in front of it here in the corner. Holding us up, you wanna just keep going? Go up now? No, let's keep going. Well, yeah, I guess. A clip, I don't know how to get around. Yeah. You want to try, try to go through it? Well, I'm at that lead thing again, or whatever it is. We're out. I think. And that's it. Where are we going with it? I figure we're going to set it on the trunk lid. Put the trunk lid sitting on a, a wonky box. Damn, man. <laughs> well, I wasn't going to put my glasses on the couch. Yeah. Have you ever seen that 65 Barracuda? They're, they got the glass out and they say, whatever you do, don't work it. Guy coming around a forklift. Later in the episode, you hear it just shatter. Well, and I told you why I came to the logical conclusion that you have to do this, is I saw somebody with a beautiful paint job trying to figure out, well, how am I going to fix all that popping off paint down in there? It's like, you should have done it to begin with. It was awesome. obvious, you know? Well, I'm glad that you're, you know, and I know that we aren't always 100% on the same path forwards through these projects, but what's my path forwards been the whole everything. time? I know everything. Strip it down to the bare chassis first. <laughs> I think we'll get there eventually. We're going to get You'll, there just a piece at a time. Yeah. <laughs> you got to take the dad's way. <laughs> got to, I got to get that out. That's all right, though, because the most important thing that we're having, and the most important thing that we're getting done out here today is just... Uh, Spending time together, yep. more than anything. Yeah. Having a good time. You don't have to. What are these little wires holding? I mean, see, it's loose. I don't know. There's three of them at least. Maybe headliner? I bet it's headliner. They staple them in or something? Maybe just to hold it while yeah. they're getting it started. Yeah. I'm going to go start making a label. Okay, so we found something important just now for all the guys that do really thorough, authentic, 100% original restorations. They need a data plate and a build sheet and we there's about eight different places the build sheet could be stored if you are lucky enough to still have your original and we just found it behind the rear seat look here guys you see that piece of paper that's the build sheet when we get this seat out of here in just a moment i'll get a better shot of it that lifts up but we've got to get these, these screws here out of the way first be right back Wow, and there it is, Chrysler Corporation Car Production Broadcast, F-Series 1970. 
it tells you everything about it. Lights and switches, exterior, power items, everything. And we've got an ID tag. Does it tell me the differential? It says they got it wrong. They put the wrong engine in it. It says it should have had a 426. <laughs> Dad, you got screwed. <laughs> All right. So next, what we're doing, taking this headliner loose. We're going to try to, we've got those holes for the vinyl trim on the outside there that we're going to try to get welded up. But I don't want to weld with this material on the back side of them. We'll burn our project to the ground. But we've got to take this out and we've got little clips for your coat hanger and your seat belt here. This just pops off and then there's a nut or a bolt. Yeah, I forgot that my first vehicle didn't have three-point harnesses. I'm sitting here admiring this for its safety features, like it's nice three-point harnesses. The International Pickup didn't have them. It was just seat belts, lap, lap belts only. Mike's too. Mike's Malibu only has lap belts. You really loved your children, didn't you, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> didn't know better. You didn't know better. It was the 60s. That's what we did. That guy just slides up. It's like a, you see how that works? Just slides up off of there. That's a cool one. And we've got a little Phillips fastener, Phillips screw. Yeah, the whole dude's gonna come off of there. And what we're doing with all these parts is just bagging them up, putting them back together. This is a good one, because you can save the screw with yeah, the tab. Yeah. Just slide it back what together. Call it, a coat hanger? That's, I called it a coat hanger. I think that's what it is. Where you, yeah. Put your Sunday going to meet and shirt there. Now your, your other bolt for the, you put it back in, right? Uh, when we get done. Okay. I've, I've left it in here for now. In fact, it's actually, oh, you can do the same thing okay. there so you don't lose the bolt, just yeah. clip the plastic. Right. I'll try to get the date on camera for everybody there so we can see that these are original from three of 1969. Is that what it said? Yeah. Cool. Hey, you got one right there, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> P69. Yep. That's crazy. Isn't it? Well, the time flies. <laughs> now, you know the restorers. Oh. They want brand new seat belts with old dates. I know. I don't know how you do that. You forge them, you fake them. You get somebody to make reproductions or knockoffs. Yeah. That's cool, though, that people would pay that much attention to it. I'm going to switch over to the other side. We'll do the same thing over here. That guy just pulls off. Another little Phillips screw. The gremlin has it got three point seats in it? Uh, yeah, I think it does. Oh, okay, it, it's a 74. It's newer, it's a new one. Yeah, that's crazy, Dad. That all what was Holly's first car? Oh, I couldn't even tell you. Well, mine was a 71, Hannah's was a 74, and Mike's was a 65. <laughs> I don't know if that was really Mike's first. No, Mike had an old truck before that. Oh, a turquoise truck? Yeah. Okay. It doesn't count. <laughs> I guess it does count, because it was a pretty cool truck. I wouldn't remember it if it wasn't kind of unique. Here we go. Got a little screw here that we didn't have on the other side.
Have you been gathering up your hardware? Yeah, I got the hangers. What's that? Screw from the wall. I just didn't have one on the other side over here. I'll put it with the other wall. Okay. Do you have any clips or anything holding this? There's a clip way up here. Oh, they come right off. Let's try to see why it's. Oh, there we go. Any clips like these you want me to see? No, I don't see anything. I'm just going to go look on the other side. This vinyl's just stuck. I'm trying not to just shred it so that we might be able to use this for a pattern, folks. There's never any sense of destroying anything. Have you seen if this headliner is available or if we're just going to have to custom make it? Oh, he's not around. Okay, now when we get and we've torn up a little bit, but you can't, you almost can't help it. When you get down to this part, it sits in these little basket clips here, and we should be able to maneuver it up out of one of them. They sit in these little baskets. It's a hoop. Get a shot of it with the camera, Dad. So it's a. It sits in the sheet metal, like, like, like if it was right here, it would sit like that, kind of. But then the hoop sits in it. Okay. So I'll put this back where it goes. So we don't lose track of where they were. Okay. That's two down. And you're, they're on the seams is where they're at. So there'll be another one here. And that seam is ripped pretty bad right there. If you want to make that stop in place or you want to go all the way. I was going to go to this one and let it drape. Yeah. So we can get our welding done and move on. All right, got that one. I'll get the other side. Two, three, yeah. There they are. That's all three of them. Now, will it actually move out of the way enough for us to work? I didn't know. Oh, it's got those wires hold on there draped out of the way our cardboards come out next equally as flammable as the vinyl and these are actually the tack strips for the vinyl too so we need to make sure we keep them they're not just trim or they're not just you know throwaway items there that's the tack strip so you stretch that vinyl down and push it down into that corner and it grabs it like, like carpet just like Tax strip on carpet. It's the edge. I'm glad we didn't just dive off into trying to weld this without looking. Looking. 
It's a lot of irreplaceable or very hard to replace flammable componentry in these that I would make sure we reuse. That style clip, let's see. Yeah, that's how you do those. You shove the pick right into your thumb and they come out. Pretty crazy. We got three screws for that one. We'll come over here. Do the same thing on the other side. Taking these videos will really help, Dad, because when you go back together, you'll have like, like right here. I see this wiring, and it's probably for yeah, it's for your dome light. But like you can see exactly how it's routed. So if you end up having to replace it or change it. You can go back original. This is the right side. That's yeah, the passenger. All right, got that one out. And you got that other tack strip too, right? Yeah, I just picked it up. Okay, here's these. So that's a set. Yep. And the screws for both sides. What we're looking at now, this hole here, is one of the holes where the tabs that hold the original vinyl top come on and come through. And we're going to seal, we're going to be sealing all these holes, welding them shut, as well as the ones in the trunk lid and all the way across the back here. Not today though, it's, we're running out of time. So we're going to try to get the front one here done real quick which will allow continuation of the work of tiger herring or letting in this seam. We're going with tiger hair, right? Kitty hair. Kitty hair. Anyway, but this bottom one we're gonna weld up and just trying to take all the rust off that we can. And anytime you're MIG welding, it likes to be, well, any, any type of welding, metal working, likes to be done on clean, shiny metal. So I'm gonna finish cleaning that up and then we'll fire the welder up and we'll get it. Okay, so we're getting ready to weld. I've cleaned it up the best we can. We have a bar of solid copper here. We're gonna, that's gonna act as a heat sink and a stop on the back. We'll uh, not mix with the weld puddle and allow us to fill that hole in and reduce the chances of warpage or us getting out of control. We've got it grounded there. I just need to throw a hood on. That's pretty thick metal actually. Yeah, it is pretty thick right there. So I'm not worried about getting too out of control. Now, this thing was turned up pretty hot from the last job too, so. Okay. Well, it's gonna turn away. Yeah, I might throw a glove on. Just to say I did. Uh, over on down there? Okay. I think I heard it kick on at home. Am I on it? Yep. yep, you're pretty on it. Now pull it away, it's got a little burr. Yeah. That's what we should have used to clean it up. Where'd that old, there it is. Little burr showed up in there. There we go. Definitely clean enough for nuclear grade inspection welding. Now we can x-ray this. Maybe. Forgive me as I try to weld and restore automotive projects and practice videography at the same time. Ready? Yep. Now we got a little south of where we wanted to be, but that'll take right off of there. 
Yeah, not bad. How's it look, Dad? Satisfied? I think so. Hole filled in. Give it a tap on the back side. Bang on it. Definitely ain't going nowhere. All right, good job. Hey, tell me what you think. Sorry to throw another one at you. That hole. That one? Leave it. You want to hit it or? Nope, leave it. Okay. I mean, we could we could try to do some work here, but you got to clean all that out oh, first. Yeah, first yeah. Okay. And if we do, it won't be weld. I think we'll probably hit it with a little braze okay. or a little lead or something. Right. But that's structurally sound. That'll keep any water from intruding there. And like I said, we're going to be cleaning all that out more anyways and filling it all in. Originally, this car had a vinyl top. It's been removed. We're going back with a painted top. So that's just got to be more attractive. Damn it. I hit the button right when I want to start recording <laughs> and I fed wire that I didn't want to feed. All right, we're going to go ahead and hit one more spot here cool. just to see how these in the thinner areas go okay. back. Can you hold the camera? Yeah. yeah. Thank you there. I just can't watch. Wait a minute. Where are you at? Okay, go. Right, here it goes. Damn, it feels fast, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Pull your bar away. And it didn't, like it's not hot anywhere near it. I can touch it. Oof, that was a little warm. <laughs> oh, sorry. But, I stopped filming. Yeah, see, we didn't we didn't get that panel hot. I can touch it around it. It's strong. You want to do this one? Sure. See your bar so I can get it in there. One thing about this, if you are MIG welding or doing your, you know, any kind of welding, but on this sheet metal work, I like to MIG it and trim your wire down. Like, don't start up off of that ball. Just don't do it. Here we go, one more. Nice and cool, no warpage. That one's already cool to the touch. Cool. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching these episodes as we work on the Challenger, the Malibu, and the rest of the projects and the work that we do here. If you haven't already done so, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like the videos, comment, click the bell icon to be notified of future releases, all that good stuff. It really does help to grow the channel. And again, I thank you for your viewership.